What's up? It's Car Talk with Corvo Bell. Y'all like that intro? That was a tight intro. I'm going to be starting a new series called Car Talk with Corvo Bell. And I'm going to pretty much be talking to you about cars, which ones you should get. You know, telling you telling you what's real about cars. Because you see a lot of these sites, a lot of these advertisements. I'm going to be telling you guys what's real about cars. And what you should get when you're looking for certain types of cars. This time, I'm going to be talking about super sports cars which are pretty much like the most powerful sports cars. They're not quite powerful enough to be supercars yet. Even though it's an economy crisis, um, super sports cars are getting really popular right now. Not many people are buying them though, but they're still getting popular. And a lot of people are like, dang, I want one of those. So, and I know you could probably clicked on this video because you thought I could tell you, you know, how you can get one cheaper than like $200,000. But I do know how, so sit down and shut up, I'm about to tell you. Bah. The Gallardo is a dream car for many, but to hop in this Spider, it'll cost you north of $200,000. And you only get 11 MPG City. The Gallardo Spider gets to 60 in just over 4 seconds, and it has an astonishing top speed of just over 200 miles an hour. If you want to see better numbers than that, the Gallardo Coupe gets 12 miles to the gallon and will get you to 60 in 3.9 seconds with the top speed just topping 200. Or the Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera they can get you to 60 in the mid 3 second range but will cost you about 50,000 more. More of a supercar, the Ferrari F430 can get you from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Arguably the best Ferrari it's also one of Ferrari's fastest, with the top speed pushing 200 miles an hour. The official car of 007, the Aston Martin Vanquish, is actually the slowest on our list, taking 4.5 seconds to get to 60 and a top speed of 190. It also costs $250,000. The more stylish DB9, however, will get you to 60 in 4.1 seconds and produces a top speed of about 198. It also costs you about 20 grand more. What? A Corvette? A $50,000 Corvette competing with Lamborghinis and Ferraris? That's right, for $50,000 you can get a Corvette that goes from 0 to 60 in 4 seconds flat with a top speed of just over 190. The Vette is actually somewhat practical too with more storage room than all the cars we've talked about here and 16 MBG City and 26 Highway. If the base isn't powerful enough for you, you can pay 20 grand more for the Z06 which gets from 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds with a top speed of 198. But why not beat them all? With the 631 horsepower ZR1 they can go from 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds and has a top speed of 205 miles an hour and it's still cheaper than any Aston Martin Lamborghini or Ferrari so there you have it if you have an extra two hundred thousand dollars and you want to be riding in style get Lamborghini Gallardo uh, Spider but if you have close to fifty thousand uh, dollars maybe even a little less get a Corvette and you know that's that's pretty much the same speed not quite as fast it is faster than Lamborghini Gallardo Spider and um, a ZR1 for just north of a hundred thousand dollars will beat almost all those and you'll be racing supercars because the ZR1 is a supercar 205 miles per hour 3.4 seconds to 60 so there you have it do me a favor comment leave me some comments I'm going to be doing some more of these car talk videos where I tell you what's real about cars. Give me some suggestions. Tell me what you want to see, what kind of cars you want me to talk about. 
uh, what the next category is. I will still be making my normal videos, um, comedies, rants, hit you up with some action movies soon. So hit me up with some comments, tell me what you want to see, give me a rating, subscribe. And when you subscribe, check out my other videos because people are hitting the subscribe button and they're not leaving comments or anything. So it's like, this dude subscribed to my channel. Why? <laughs> he didn't leave any comments or anything. Did he just hit it because I said hit subscribe? So hit subscribe and check out my other videos and leave me some comments. Rate this video, get it around, favorite it, tell, tell people about it. Do your thing. I'm out.